Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at the brand new axe model, the Trekker's Axe. So I get a lot of requests for my opinion on which is the best axe that I make. So I usually tell people, of course it depends on what you're doing, but um, normally it would be either the trail axe or the bush axe as far as um, you know the blend of being able to carry it easily and then being able to use it. So those are my two most popular models by and large. So I wanted to make one that was pretty much right in between those two. So this is it. It has an 18 inch handle and a one and a quarter pound head. So it's a little bit heavier than the trail axe and then it's of course a little bit lighter than the bush axe. So we're going to do a little video and kind of show you how they compare with those other two axes and then we're going to use it a little bit and see how it does. So as a comparison, this is a bush axe head. So this is one pound eight ounces and then this is the trekker's axe and this is one pound four ounces. Some of them are one pound five ounces but they're right in there. And then this is the trail axe which is either one pound two ounces or one pound three ounces. So they're all you know they're all pretty similar in size there's not a whole lot of difference um, as far as physical size but like the difference between the bush axe and the trail axe is it's just a, is a little bit longer it's got a little bit a little bit thicker a little bit beefier and then it's a little bit wider so uh, that's kind of the the differences so these are of course not heat treated so they're uh, the different color than they they normally are when they're finished. But anyway, let's get these on some handles and show you what it looks like when they have handles on them. Okay, so this is a 15 inch trail axe. So we got that one. And then this is a bush axe. So it's got a 21 inch handle. Both of these have been around a lot, by the way, so please forgive them if they look a little rough because they, they've been used. So uh, this is the Trekker's axe. We can maneuver all this here without hurting anybody. Um, there. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty much just right in between these two. And that was the point. So we're going to use this guy and see what we think about it. So we're going to try to take down this little poplar right here. So it's uh, got a bad spot here and it's also not very straight so it never will make any timber anyway. If we get this guy out of the way then this tree which is nice and straight can have a good chance of actually making a tree. So um, we're gonna try to just make one good notch on this side and we won't have room to make a, a overcut on the back side. So we're just gonna try to make one big notch and get it to go that way. So we'll see how it goes. So overall I kind of like how um, if the handle's long enough you can use it with two hands. The trail axe is a little bit short for using with two hands, it's mostly one hand. Um, the bush axe you can definitely use either way. This one it's long enough you can actually use it with two hands, so I kind of like that. So we're going to take this old dead tree here and try to work it up into some wood. 
this way. So as far as the sheath goes on this thing, I think we're going to make it come standard with what I call the Carpenter's Axe sheet. So this is just a light bit cover, and by light I mean physically, it's still thick, you know, good thick stuff. But um, So this will come standard if you don't specify you want something different. You can put this on your belt, and that, that works. Um, or if you'd rather have an actual belt loop like this that comes on the trail axe, uh, you can do that too. Uh, it's just whatever you would prefer. To me, it's a little bit long to carry on your belt. It, it kind of just hangs down a little too far. Um, if you'd rather a sheath like this with the snap and everything, except that doesn't have the belt loop, uh, like what comes with the bush axe, then we can do that too. So you got lots of sheath options if you want something different. So we've had a lot of fun testing out our new Trekkers Axe here, and I'm looking forward to seeing what y'all think about it. So thanks for watching. <laughs>